Okay, we're doing a trail side review on the new salsa buck saw. This is the uh, this is the top end version. So this has got all the fancy stuff like the dropper seat post, your SRAM 1x11 drivetrain. Um, obviously, it's full suspension, which has been fantastic. Um, we we brought this as you guys can see behind us. We we figured. Uh, this bike is made for trail riding a lot more than uh, than snow riding. You know, you can you can do without the suspension on a snow ride pretty easily. Uh, riding the trails, it gets a little rough on a, on a rigid fat bike. But uh, so we brought it down to Moab. Uh, we've been riding for two days on it. The bike's gone back and forth through a few different people. What an awesome, awesome bike! This thing is just incredible. Everybody that's ridden it just can't wipe the grin off their face and and the best way that we've been able to come up to describe how this bike rides it's almost like riding a couch it's just <laughs> so plush you know bombing down the steps and the drop-offs and everything that they're so prevalent on the trails out here in Moab it is just a dream to ride um, it weighs in at 34 pounds uh, obviously there's there's room to lose some weight with tubeless tires and, and things like that but uh, you know what 34 pounds isn't bad for a full suspension fat bike um, it doesn't feel like it's slowing you down with the weight just salsa has done such an incredible job on this bike everything is the details are just perfect you know they they did I I'm just blown away really um, I I expected to be a little disappointed in the drivetrain and I've never ridden a 1x11 I'm not a super strong climber you know so I like my gears and I thought oh this is gonna kill me and it's really been nice it's geared really nice um, the other thing that uh, that I thought was gonna be disappointing they they went with the Nate tire um, which is a great tire um, I think it's a better snow tire than it is a trail tire um, it's performed very well uh, if it were me, um, you know, choosing from Surly's lineup of, of tires, I think they would have been better off with a with a Nard, just a better trail tire. Um, but the the Nate's going to be a better all-round tire. It's going to work better in all conditions: snow, sand, mud, hard pack, than the Nate would. So not a not a bad choice, honestly. That's the only thing I would have changed on the bike. They've done such a fantastic job on this that. You know, I don't want to give it back. <laughs> so, you know, the salsa buck saw has just been an incredible, incredible ride. It, it changes fat biking. Um, it's a completely viable uh, trail bike. I mean, as you guys know, we, we ride our fat bikes in anywhere and everywhere in all conditions, and they're awesome and they work great. This just takes it to a whole new level. Um, you know, we did 21 miles on some pretty rough trails yesterday, and normally, I'd be a little stiff, my back would be aching the next day, and you know, really feel pretty good. And and that's because of this uh, suspension. Um, another thing that Salsa, I think, is does an awesome job on their paint jobs. They don't skimp there. Really a beautiful paint job. It's, it's hard to see with all the dirt and stuff that, uh, that we've got on it, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Your bike gets dirty when you take it for a ride. What are your thoughts on the drop seat? Uh, the dropper post, that's my first experience on a dropper post. You know, it's nice to, to be able to drop it, get it out of the way, especially through some of the real technical stuff. Um, for me personally, you know, am I going to spend, you know, two to four hundred bucks so I can drop my seat? I'm not a hundred percent sold on it yet. It is a nice feature, um, and I know a lot of people absolutely love them, you know. Jury's still out as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to run out and buy one right now. Who knows? Down the road, it may be something that I add to the to the Farley or another another bike we end up with. But anyway, that's that's the basics of the uh, the Salsa Buck Saw. Uh, they've got two models. This one uh, suggested retail is $4.99, and the other version is $3.99. Difference being. The other version, I believe you get X9 instead of XO. It's a 2x10 drivetrain. Um, you lose the dropper post, you lose the carbon fiber bars, and I think that's basically it. Um, 
Oh, one of the most impressive things I forgot to mention, this rear linkage, I don't know what they've done here, but you don't get that bouncing effect that you can with some full suspension bikes when you're standing up and pedaling or you're, you're just really cranking hard on the pedals. You don't feel all that power loss um, as a suspension's compressing. This, it, it stays pretty rigid when you're on the pedals and, and works you know, gets moving when you're in the bumps. So, uh, Salsa really has done their homework and, and has put together a fantastic bike. Um, so anyway, that's enough talking. We're gonna go ride it some more. Thanks for watching. If you want more details and full review, go to fatbikebrigade.wordpress.com and you can find it there. Thanks for watching, and we want to thank Mad Dog Cycles and Orem for giving us the uh, Bucksaw to test out. See you next time.